wouldn't want to come out in this weather. Who said communism was dead? Good morning and welcome to Luke Jones the other way from Ulyanovsk, a town on the mighty Volga River which is behind me. Now, it's so big, you're so wide, you can't even see the other side. Might have something to do with the weather at the moment. I've been told by the locals it's warmed up to a uh, minus 12. It was about minus 20 yesterday, so we got here just in time as it starts to heat up. So uh, let's go and show you what a proper, real Russian winter looks like. Right, well, you couldn't come all the way to Ulyanovs without going to see the statue of the big man himself, Vladimir Ilyich, uh, but it's a slightly slippery way to get there. This is a statue of Lenin when he was just a little kid, so you won't find many other statues of him like that. Most of the time he's a fully grown man, but here he is with his mum, because this over here is the house where Lenin grew up in the 1870s and early 1880s and then behind me this absolute monstrosity is a combination of a concert hall museum and probably a lot of other things <laughs> This is the big man himself. This is where it all started. 1870, Vladimir Ilyich Ulyanovs was born here in the town of Simbirsk, but it's now called Ulyanovsk. I think I prefer the old name. Well, Ulyanovsk has a reputation for being quite a friendly place. They've even got a uh, statue to high fives. Look at this. Well, how many can I get in? Here in the heart of Ulyanovs, we have a monument to the letter Yor. Now, if you're wondering why on earth you would do that, well, it's a very special letter in Russian because a lot of swear words start with a Yor. For the sake of decency, I won't mention them on the camera. It's a great example of some multicolored architecture. Well, it's Saturday around about lunchtime, and you can see the place is absolutely packed. This is one of the main squares in Ulyanovs. Look at the crowds behind me. I mean, who wouldn't want to come out in this weather? This is the Soviet answer to the Hall of Fame. You've probably seen from my previous videos, they're into their war memorials here, but uh, this is one of the tallest ones I've ever seen. Check this one out. During communist times, boys and girls, pretty much every kid, joined what they called the Pioneers. This was probably the equivalent of a scout camp. Boy Scouts, Girl Guides. But obviously, there would have been a communist flavor to it. You can't get much more revolutionary than this. Lenin studied here, and Kerensky was born here. Get that. I thought you can't get any more revolutionary than Kerensky and Lenin in one place. We walk around the corner and you've got Karl Marx there. The Communist Party of the Communists in Russia. We're well, certainly in the right place for it. Who said communism was dead? Not in this place. Now, Russian trains are not known for traveling particularly quickly, all right? Uh, it can often take, you know, three or four times longer to get somewhere than it does when you're traveling through Europe. I've always wondered why, but then I realized, look at this, it's minus 12, yet trains still run and they run on time, whereas back home in the UK, one flake, everything comes to a standstill. Wrong type of snow. Well, they've even got a ski lift here. I can think of other better ways to get across the river. So 
that's been another edition of Luke Jones the Other Way. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. This has been Ulyanovsk, formerly known as Simbirsk, Lenin's birthplace, freezing cold, but this is the real Russia in the winter.